today we will discuss about how to make windows server as a active directory and dns for our our lab so log into our windows server previously we configured the same server for the dhcp right so now just go to the here manage add roles and service click next 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 active directory domain service add features dns add features next 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 yes so click install so it started installing let's wait installation started on dhcp server that means i given the name as a dhcp server so previously we just given the name for this windows machine as a dhcp don't get confused you can give any name like windows 2012 server windows active directory like that i just given the name for this computer in the previous videos so it's got success success then close this message click this hello button promote this as a domain controller add a new forest for example you can give your name dot com why i am giving why prenas dot com click next Let's keep on loading. Get the password. V O I P Y one two three. V O I P Y one two three. Click next. Yes. Click next. just wait for two minutes see all the tabs are not accessible now it will take the name and come the domain name here then click next click next this come down click next Hmm. It's taking little time. Okay. Just come down. Just click install. So the installation is starting. So it will take some time. So let's keep on running. Let's see. So after this all done, it will get reboot. So 
so what i'm doing means i'm taking this as a mstc remote management see this is my windows machine right so i'm just taking like just went here went run mstc okay then i just counter to the this ip address 192.168.1.111 okay that's why this is the remote desktop Oh, already took it just now closed i think so oh god okay let me i think it got restarted sorry <laughs> so i told now see here it's got restarted so after installing success of dns it's got uh, restarted and the uh, remote desktop is automatically closed okay let it come up so it is taking time let me click the console okay so this time when it is rebooting okay you can able to see the domain name what's the domain name you given wipe trainers right so it will show the domain name slash administrator just wait so it's gone let me log in see you can able to see wipe trainers the domain name came okay same thing i'm trying to take remotely let's see oh. mstsc carnate more choices use different account wipe trainer slash admin st nari to or administrator wipe the rate one two three okay yes so i can able to take okay now just to go to and desktop run dns mg nt dot msc Actually, it's a MGMT. Okay, so this is our DNS server. Okay, that is the name. Don't get confused with the DHP. This is the name I given to the my computer. If you see here, this PC properties. So the name I given here. If I'm changing. So this is the name. So you can give any name. This is the name I just given. If I'm giving some other name, it will reboot. That's it. Okay. Okay. Come to here. DNS server. Okay. I think better I can change the computer name. Otherwise, you guys will get confused later. Let me properties because I mentioned DHCP, you will get confused. Okay, let me do. Let me try to change this one. I'm not like it. Windows AD server like that. Windows Active Directory. Okay. Okay, I'm just restarting. Restart now. Okay, so now this Windows machine is restarting. So it got restarting. Let's see. So it's got rebooted. Let me log in. Carnate. Ok. 
ok I'm gonna say we renamed okay I think now you won't get confused just go to the reverse lookup click a new June next 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 diaper address 192 168 1 next next finish so the reverse lookup June is done now just come to the forward lookup June so go to the forward lookup June go to your domain right click the new hole triple a and give the name like for example i'm just giving something sm gr so the ip address i'm going to give 192 one dot mm, 179 we do something like not SMG like test so if one is okay 100 we give 100 so test if someone is pressing uh, if someone is looking for test at wipetrainers.com it will go to the IP address 192.168.1.100 add host creator okay done okay so let me go here cmd ns look up 182.168.1.100 see it's showing the domain name got it that's why adding it. it's like a google only if i'm just going outside uh, just uh, in cmd ns look up i can give the domain name also like www dot google dot com so it will give the ip address for the particular name okay the same thing what we did here so this is used in the avaya for the like a fqdn we call this full name as a fqdn fully qualified domain name okay so the fully qualified domain if i am telling test.wipetrainers.com it is nothing but the ip address is 192.168.1.100 if i am telling 192.168.1.100 it is nothing but the fully qualified domain is test.wipetrainers.com okay got it so this will be used for a upcoming like uh, avayara device services okay for utility server for the section manager installation it will need the fqdn okay so all the entries you can add here in our lab setups you don't need to look for any other dns thank you for watching